Hey, this is Matt Whitmer from Ready Precision. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Honeywell Optimizer Suite and just sort of breaking down the individual parts of it. Um, this isn't going to be necessarily a controller selection video or a deep depth uh, dive into any of these individual controllers, but we do see some people uh, getting a little bit confused about uh, what Honeywell Optimizer is. Is that a specific product? Uh, what does it refer to? That kind of thing. So in this video, we'll break it down a little bit for you and uh, hopefully clear that up. So let's jump into it. Okay, so what is the Optimizer product line? It is not just a single product. It's actually a, a whole suite of products. So the first piece on that product line is your Optimizer Unitary. It's a unitary controller. Um, Optimizer VAV, typical VAV controller with built-in actuator, uh, pressure sensor, and that kind of thing. Optimizer Advanced, and that's their latest and their greatest. It is a native Niagara device with a whole bunch of additional features that you don't get on something like a Jace 9000. And then we have Optimizer Supervisor. That is their branding of the Niagara software. No longer using the web's uh, name for really any of this stuff. So uh, the software now is referred to as Optimizer and not webs. So let's now go in a little bit more depth about what each of these um, products is. So our Optimizer Unitary, this is programmed from Niagara using the IRM tool. This is not a native Niagara device, so it doesn't run Niagara on it, but you program it from within Niagara, whether that's on your local machine or through a JACE, um, that's all a possibility. The Optimizer Unitary has the most flexibility for communication, so we can do IP over standard Ethernet. We can do T1L, so that's uh, just a standard twisted pair Ethernet over a single pair. We've done some videos on that in the past, so check those out if you're interested in that at all. Um, regular BACnet MSTP, and there is a Wi-Fi option coming for that as well. It will only be a Wi-Fi controller. It won't have the other features in it. And it will talk BACnet over P, BACnet over IP uh, on that Wi-Fi. They also have Silk. They don't have any options for expansion I/O, and they're available in a 16 and a 24 I/O count part. Next up is our Optimizer VAV. This was previously known as the Spider Seven. Um, it also is programmed from within Niagara uh, using that IRM tool. So again, it's not a native Niagara device, but it can be programmed and it is programmed from within Niagara. These are available as uh, BACnet IP or MSTP devices. They do have Silk, no expansion IO um, possibilities, and they come in a zero IO count or a 12 IO count. And then we get to the Optimizer Advanced. We've done a bunch of videos on this already. We will continue to do more videos on it and all of the other devices we've talked about here. Um, this is a native Niagara device, so it runs Niagara on it directly. You can think of it a bit like a Jace, but it has a lot of additional features. It's got RS-45 ports, as you would expect on a device like this. No onboard I.O., but it is expandable using uh, panel bus uh, and touch flakes, which are the contacts on the side of the controller, so that you can just pop on the expansion I.O. options that are available um, directly onto the controller itself. And then it also does have an optional display. So um, I think I mentioned on the 485, those 485 ports can be used for anything that Niagara supports uh, driver-wise. Obviously, you need to license them if they're a licensed feature, uh, but a lot of flexibility there. And then we get to the uh, third Niagara 4 software, what they call Optimizer Supervisor. This was previously known as Web Supervisor. This gets people tripped up um, quite a bit because on BP Tech Center, if you are a Honeywell customer, uh, the older versions are listed under their name at the time, which was Web Supervisor, and the newer stuff shows up underneath Optimizer Supervisor. Um, we're going to try to 
make that a little bit easy for you guys here in the future. Um, but for now, that's the way it's laid out on BP Tech Center. Older stuff that was that used the web supervisor name is underneath web supervisor underneath your Honeywell section of BP Tech Center, and the newer stuff is underneath optimizer supervisor. Um, as of recording of this on March eighth. The latest versions are 4.10U5 and 4.12U2. 413 is supposedly coming soon within the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, and with that, we will get um, the Honeywell 9000. The Honeywell 9000 will not use the optimizer name the best that we can tell. The part number will be Han, so Honeywell, H-O-N, dash 9000 um, from everything that we've seen thus far. Things can change, but that's the way it looks like right now. So hopefully uh, this was informative for you and clears up a little bit of that confusion over what Optimizer is and what it refers to exactly. Um and uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, as I've mentioned before, we've got more videos coming. You may or may not have seen Frank did a video uh, this week as well. So you got two videos this week. Um, and if you are on the hunt for a job in the field, we are hiring. Um, so there's a link to the information on that in the description below. Uh, both on the engineering side and the uh, sales side. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.